Hi, welcome to Creative Mandy's channel. And if this is your first time, hi, welcome. Um, if this is your second time here, because this is my second video, um, welcome back. Uh, today I made, or not today, yesterday I made a hauling at Michael's and I got one thing at the dollar store. Um, and I wanted to show you guys and give you my reviews after I did swatches. And I'm going to do like a, like a design and like try using what I got to like color them in and stuff. Um, so the first thing is like the dollar store thing that you can get at the dollar store. Um, it's a jolt correction pen, which you can use as a highlighter, which... I already opened one up and you just go like, well it doesn't do it anymore because it's already activated, but it, you just shake it and it will like do this. So I did like, so it will like leave that. That's so much brighter than the pen, I think. I don't know. I haven't gotten a pen yet of white, but to be honest, this looks much better. Um, and also... So that was the dollar store. Um, so at Michael's today, I got these drawing pens from um, Re uh, Recollections, and the six-piece set. One it goes from point one to eight, no four or six. Um, so I'll take one out of here and show you the tip. They're pretty much the same tip size, in my opinion. Um, I'm not sponsored, by the way. Like, none of this is sponsored. This is all my opinion and everything. So, like, here's the tip. There's that. And that was the 0.5. Um, I can show you the 0.8. It doesn't look much different. It looks thicker though, but that's them. I also today got these guys, which I'm trying to find the packaging. I just like chucked somewhere by accident. Uh, they're the Tom Bro Bow Tom. Combo of calligraphy pens, which are these guys. It's a two pack. One's a hard tip, one's a soft tip. Um, pretty sure this one was the hard tip. Um, hang on, let me see if I can like show you. Yeah, this is the point. That's probably not the best thing to write on. Uh, I need paper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Where's pepper when you need it? I'm just not putting pepper. Um, give me a second while I try to find a piece of So this, I had to scratch this out so you didn't know who this is. Um, so this is the hard tip. Oh, you can't see it, sorry. That's the hard tip clear your food pen. And this is the soft one. So, Much thicker the soft one than the, than the harder one. Instead of like doing that, let me try like writing a word.
So that is spreading with the soft tip, and that's with the hard tip. So that's the calligraphy pens. If you're wondering when I'm putting stuff in, it is the Penjor Recollections uh, rolling cart. Um, I got it on sale today. Not today, I keep forgetting. <laughs> um, and yeah, I built it because it was like in pieces and everything. So, and it has like a metal top here. So, that's awesome. Yeah. And the next, so the next thing that I got is, oh, here is, by the way, here's a swatch. I keep forgetting to do this, watch things. Uh, here's a swatch of the red collection uh, drawing pens. Those, that's them up here. I need to write the name there. Um, here is the palm calligraphy again. So, this big colorful thing here is um, this company's Stradler's double end watercolor brush pens which is a 36 pack so I didn't bother putting them back in here because I have this and I just need to get baskets for it to put the markers in but as right now they're just laying flat um to show you which and to show you first this is what they look like is it up no it's up this is what they look like. So, if you look here, this is the brush end because it has like a thicker silvery end. And this has the, this side is the fine point because it has a thinner one. Also, the, the way you can tell it's a brush pen is that, um, this has more of like a lip here on the end for the brush pen and for the fine tip it doesn't and plus the brush tip yes basically that's how you tell them apart too if you can't really see the silver part so that's them again this is the all the colors that came with it this, this, the thicker one is the brush pen, obviously, and then the, this one is the tips. The smaller ones are the tips. They don't have names. Not even on the package, there's not even, like, a color label thing at all. Like, I'm pretty sure if I take this out, there's nothing on here that's going to tell me what the colors are. Oop. Yeah, there's nothing here. And it's all in another language, too. Multiple different languages. But it does tell you what colors are here on the bottom. But that's about it. So, yeah. This one I would probably give, like, a four. So, yeah. That's what I would give it. Um. That's those. Then other things that I got, oh, and they don't bleed, the brush pens, which, and the pine hits don't bleed, like, this was just the page I used, no bleeding whatsoever, that's a plus, and neither does the drawing pens or the calligraphy pens. Maybe it's the paper I'm using, too. Oh, the paper I'm using is the, um is the create sketchbook on um, the premium drawing paper so maybe that's why um this is like really thick paper that's like nice sound 
and it has like a nice soft touch to it and it absorbs the markers really well so um but don't get the markers wet on here because it will like like ruin the whole page and everything so yeah and then so the next thing that i got is paintbrushes Okay, so they were buy one and get one 50% off. So, I'm trying to get this one to go down. Um, but these are Otter Artist Loft um, the brushes. Um, it's a 25 pack. Um, this one has like an actual pouch, which is pretty awesome. So, all I would really need to do is take the cardboard out if I wanted somehow and just leave like the brushes in here and like use this as my like brush pouch which I thought about now maybe try doing or maybe it didn't come out maybe it does I just hard to come out Oh, look at that. They have a blue end. So, like, here is all the brushes up close. So, these are your thicker brushes. Ooh. That's already shedding. That's disappointing. These are really stiff. Oh, that just cracked. Yeah, if you can hear it, it's like cracking. But it's also a really soft brush. This is okay. It's soft and feels good. These white ones do are really hard at first, but then when you like you're not supposed to touch the bristles, but I can't stand having hard nips. And I know that's a bad thing um, to touch them. I normally wash on them, but I just can't stand when they're in the package and then they harden and everything. So, yeah. And they're also numbered. So, like, this is one. So, like, this is a one for the tiniest tip. That's that. Um, so that's them. And this was like the Christmas one version. Like this had a Christmas bow on it and everything. So that was that pack. And then this is basically like the same set. Um, it's just the normal packaging now. Um, twenty five pieces and yeah all the same thing literally so like yeah now I'm gonna open these real quick so give me a second so now I literally have a brush pouch full of brushes and that when I go to use them I can just grab this and yeah it'll be much easier to use There is two more things that I got, uh, and they're big, and they have a lot of colors, and you can probably guess what they are. They are the lovely color pencils and watercolor pencils, and they're both the Strahler's too. This is the color pencil. 24 pack. All the colors are right here. And then this is the watercolor one where you add water and it becomes like a water one. So, 
let's open them up. I'm pretty sure they're the same colors because it looks like it. No, not really. They are different. I don't know. Hang on. The pinks look different. So do the oranges and the yellows. And then, like, this purple's lighter, so, like, yeah. So, I'll have to test those together, but, yeah, let's open these. Trying to open this. Let's try to open Oh, they're already, like, coming together. Oh! I don't mean to like drop it on the mic. There's one more and he's not coming out. He's being mean. Oh, there's one that just fell to the bottom. I heard him. You guys heard him too? Okay. So. Now let's look at these bad boys. Ooh. Oh. The triangular. Look at this. Uh. I had to like. And here's this. What they look like at this way. But they don't have their names. Like they aren't named or nothing. So for these, I'm gonna have to like put these in like different piles because one's watercolor, one is uh, color, just color pencils. So like this is all the color pencils that came in it, which is pretty awesome. Now let's look at these watercolors and then we'll do a swatch. And I saw that there's a tray, so I'm gonna see if I can get them to come out on the tray. It's much easier to just like pull them out on the tray. Ooh, look at that, we're pulling them out on the tray. Oh, 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 come on, okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here is the watercolors. They're not all facing the same way. But they're also triangular, which is cool. And these aren't named either. But with these, what I can show you the difference is, it's that, uh, let me get one here. So for this one, this is what the water card looks. So you see this, this means water because it's a brush. So, and this one doesn't have a brush. So, you know how that's like a colored pencil then. I'm guessing that's how you tell them apart. So, yeah. So, let's get to swatching because we have 48 pencils to swatch. Well, maybe not. It depends. Do I want to do all 48? Yeah, I'll just do full 48. They won't take me long. Let's see about that. See you in a minute. Okay, so I just got done the colored pencils. Uh, swatch. So, this is what they look like. This is what them really lightly on the paper. This is what they look like. 
Now, some of them aren't noticeable, like this yellow and like this, these two, and about this one. I'll like if, if it's lightly there, and that's the white, but you can't really tell because it's on white paper. Great move to me. Um, but like if you press harder, you can really see the colors. Um, yeah, which is good. The pigment is really dark if you press harder. Um, it's not really, some of them are bright in pigment when it's light, but like when you press harder, it comes more bright. So like, that's okay, I guess. I'm not really wanting to break the pencil just to get a bright light sketch of color. So that's kind of something that I don't like, I guess. You could say so that these 24 color pencils from Stellar get like one from five, probably get like a 2.5 because I don't think the pigment is right. Well, maybe a three because I don't think like the pigment is good enough, really. So, um. Trying to leave back on the palette here of this thing. So that is our color pencils. So let's put that in the color pencil book. Now, since that didn't take me quite as long as I thought it would, um, I'm going to let you guys watch as I do the watercolor. So we're going to start here. I'm trying to get these in the shot. strength isn't the best really. Now these two are really pigmented which is pretty good which I like which I, I didn't even press that hard so that was like maybe these three. And I'm gonna go get like water so we can like test these out to see how they look as water. There we go. And let's put this over here. And then 
It's not even pressing hard. That's really pretty good. So far, the watercolors are so much better than the actual color ones. Like, see, I'm not even, like, really putting pressure, and it still has, like, a lot of pigment in it. If you only have to go over it a few times just to get that shaded effect, that's good, I guess. I don't know, I'm still learning, as I said in the beginning, but I'm a self-taught, so I watch different people on YouTube, like, I don't remember who I watched, I will let you know in another video, I guess, um, but some of these Stuff that I've learned, some of the terminology and stuff like that, um, I've learned from a couple websites, um, and I also learned from um, some of the artists here on YouTube. Yeah, and. I didn't even put that much pressure, and it broke. Literally. It broke the pointy tip off. Look, this has a pointy tip. So, this has a square tip now, because it broke, and I didn't even put that much pressure. So that one is like not good. And heck, we're just gonna do white even though you can't really see it because you're not on like different colored paper, Miranda or Mandy. Miranda's my real name, but like I go by Mandy. So, oh, wait, here's the watercolor on here. That's that one. That's the watercolor. And that's the colored pencil. So, you can see I prefer the watercolor over the colored pencil. And also I prefer the dolt pen. The nice white out pen um because it's much better than these white pencils so let's take a final look here at this swatch these are the watercolors and then these are the colored pencils so yeah i say the watercolors are definitely more better than the colored pencils in my opinion so um, yeah, I would definitely go for, like, the Stratler color pencils more often. Um, and I give this about, like, a four. So, yeah. That's all I have for today. Um, but if you would like to see more content and everything like that, uh, leave in the comments what you want me to test try. Um, I am on a budget, um, I can only spend, uh, I'm not rich, I don't have a lot of money right now, I'm a college student, and I'm working to find a job, so it's kind of like rough right now, so I don't 
have a lot of funds. I have funds from my last job, but like I had to stop because of medical reasons and everything like that. Um, but hopefully, like, I can get a job where I can like, do better. And, um, yeah, and hopefully, maybe if I, like, start making more art, well, I'm definitely going to make me making more art. I have all this stuff now. Um, and I have more stuff on the way, which, that'll be another video. Um, yeah, and I'll be, like, thinking of ways on how to, like, get it out for people if people want it. I don't know, maybe. You guys let me know. Um, so, yeah. Stay kind, stay beautiful, and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Thanks again.